Nigerians have reacted to the federal government's deployment of 10,000 agro-rangers to 19 states to ensure food security. You would recall that the deployment announced by Olushe Gundada, the special assistant to the president on social media, aims to safeguard farmlands and also ensure the safety of farmers who have been increasingly targeted by violent attacks. The agro-rangers are also taxed with mediating conflicts between farmers and headers and preventing the malicious destruction of farmlands, a growing concern in the northern region and other parts of the country. While some Nigerians see it as laudable, others defaulted or faulted the viability. Taking to Facebook, one Umbok Umo said, God bless the president for this initiative. These agro-rangers are expected to protect our forest from criminals who have used the largely unhabited forest to do crime. Again, this is one of the practicable methods of reducing activities of some persons who are hell-bent on preventing farmers from going to farm. While well, we had another user, Joseph Lucky, who said 19 northern states, including the FCT, that's 20, diving, uh, diving 10,000 personnel to each state will, okay, dividing 10,000 personnel to each state will be about 500 personnel each. Now, how can 500 personnel secure all farmlands and crops in a whole state? What is going on in our forest? If it was a country that means well, they would have declared a state of emergency regarding that aspect. I pray Nigeria succeeds. Well, those were the reactions of just a few Nigerians amongst the others that we had concerning that particular report of the federal government deploying 10,000 agro rangers to 19 states in Nigeria. You're an agro expert. Yeah. So I'd love your thoughts on this initiative. You know, uh, like I earlier stated, it's a good initiative, but I am no longer moved. I'm not very much interested in a, on some of these initiatives, these policies of government, because of what we have seen over time. The issue of implementation has been my major concern. This is not the first time we're hearing about uh, agro rangers. Of course, even before, uh, before some of us were born, uh, I read, I learned that there was a time Nigerians were practicing, uh, they had uh, farm guards. They have farm guards, and it was a government outfit. You know, the government was responsible uh, in their web, you know, was taking care of them. But over time, we never saw those things again. And then the issue of insecurity, herdsmen, and all of that took over most farmland. It's a very good initiative. But the government, instead of or rather than just uh, enacting policies, coming up with a uh, good initiative, they should do more in retrospect by digging, <coughs> digging deep, going back. What led to the failure of the ones we established previously? Issue of farm rangers, we had it before. Why did it collapse? Why was it not sustained? And then once you go down the lane, the government will not be able to say, okay, this is where we failed. This is what we are now introducing in order to make this system work. If that is not done, believe me, it will still be uh, business as, as usual. Do you think that this, um, you since you said it's a good initiative, some people have the opinion that this, we're talking about bandits, we're talking about headsmen and some of these fans. And some people have said that they feel like the, this, they, they feel like more, more, um, more advanced uh, equipment should be given or provided for this particular thing to be carried out successfully. And they also feel statements were made like, oh, if the army could not handle, in Nigeria's words now, some of the comments I saw, why would they ask NSCDC to handle it? You know? So for the initiative, I know you've said it's a good one, but do you think, let's look at the personnel now. Do you think that... They, they should have probably looked at a more advanced one, or how do you see the selection, or maybe using the NSCDC in this case? Okay, uh, for me, there is nothing wrong with using the NSCDC. Uh, the, some person said soldiers would have been more preferred. The training of soldiers, except you're declaring those zones as war zones. What that, do you think? Yeah, what I think is that the NLCDC personnel should be given an advanced training in order to meet up to the uh, demand 
of the people and the training should go more digital. If we must address this, this issue, there should be a kind of training that will help the, 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 the practitioners, those involved in this particular job, to, uh, to be able to track the source, the point of movement of some of these persons, not when they get to the farm directly. Uh, you know, there should be that kind of training. So it calls for an advanced uh, training of this person and not just giving them uh, weapons. Uh, weapons, you know. Uh, it, I don't think that will really address the issue. The government should employ, you know, advanced technology and equip these people so that they will be able to... And let's also look at the numbers that were deployed. 10,000 for 19 states with the FCT. Yeah, it's, um, it's a good start. There's always a beginning point. Uh, it's a good start. Of course, those persons will be paid. It's not, I don't think it's a voluntary stuff. Uh, they are already government personnel. They are only being deployed. And I want to feel that more hands will be added to them. Uh, I am thinking, I don't know. I don't know the, how the structure was organized. But I feel that there will also be some persons from the grassroots that will be attached to this um, security personnel. So there is always a beginning point. That number isn't a bad number. The government can always improve and then let it not also be let it not be politicized okay. uh, that's another area that is giving me much concern uh, anything is possible let it not be politicized let the persons let that team do their job let it not be a situation where one influential person or political will now begin to use them to their job is well spelled out mm. so but, but saying that unless we are declaring those zones war zones we, what is happening with insecurity in some of the states in nigeria especially on the farmland that has affected food that, that has caused hunger now in the land don't you think more more stronger approach than, than, should, than, be, than even should be used well yeah uh, i quite agree with you but uh until there is a, a declaration that that place is it was or not there is a high level of threat. Uh, if you ask me, the issue of uh, soldiers shouldn't be used, but the issue of insecurity on farm, uh, sorry, uh, um, uh, you know, headsmen or whoever yes. vandalizing farmland is a very is a very right. critical issue and has resulted to high level of uh, food scarcity. is a major cause of food crisis in the in the nation. Right. Uh, the the government the government can go a step further. The government can go a step further. In as much as they have provided these persons, they can as well keep the, the military as backup. All right, at, at this point, I'll have to quote you because time's no longer on our side. Okay. But thank you so much for joining us and being a part of the conversation. Thank you very much. And I must thank my team, the man behind the camera, the man and the MCR. Thank you so much, uh, China Gorham and Emmanuel, for joining us, uh, making this possible. And this is where we get to wrap things up, an Atlantic blowout. Um, just remember that we are open for sponsorship and partnership. Stay connected with us on all of our socials on Facebook and YouTube at Atlantic Television Network on Instagram and TikTok to Atlantic TV Network one and on X and Atlantic TV Net. Watch us live on our website at www.atlanticnetwork.tv. Peace and unity are the pathways to progress. I am Enidoye Jackson. Coming up next is Open Conversation. <laughs>